That is closer though. This is, hear me? this is a freaking bait. This is a freaking bait. He's dead. He's been Sorry, can you repeat that? That's not a person. You hearing that would be too? Yeah, that's my phone notifications going kind of crazy. I'm getting a lot of messages about a little something that just dropped. People have been telling me about a new 14 minute episode where we get to enjoy the back rooms lore. And you know I'm all for that. So with that said, are you guys ready to take another dip back into the back rooms? For those of you who responded no, what the freak you doing on this video then? So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and oh, it's that time once again. Kane Pixels has dropped two brand new videos for us to check out all about the back rooms. Kane's newest video, however, Pitfalls, is is one I am extremely interested to watch. He was posting some very interesting teasers, which basically introduced me to a whole new side of the back rooms. I knew there was these multiple levels to it, but I think this video may potentially explore that. I won't say much more just in case it doesn't. Before we get going though, guys, let me know if you want to see a special reaction to a lot of backroom creators content. I was thinking of doing like a massive compilation, like hopefully up to one hour long. I would just watch a shed ton of different backroom stuff. We'd have some fun reacting to it, but let me know if you want to see that, man. It could be fun. Hey, prototype, let's see what you're doing, huh? So this video is only 1 minute 30. I don't truly know what it could be. Hmm. Ominous straight out of the bat though, right? Look at this. Red cap in a factory. What is that trying to do? Some kind of power generation system into that sphere? Courtesy of Oak Ridge National Laboratory, conducted on May 10th, 1982 under the supervision of Philip H. Raymond. That might be a, a noteworthy name. That's just computer jamble. I thought we were hearing voices. So we get to see this machine in action. Are they here up at the bomb, it looks like? Something maybe an orange glow. I don't think that's coming from the machine, but we see it moving right there. What are we seeing? What the? Hey, Kane, man. We are not science people. We don't know what this thing's about to do. No text on screen to explain? We get nothing here. Right, it's, it's trying to generate something. Here we go. Woo! What is that for? Huh. You hear the machinery going kind of crazy in the back? You know, all the papers probably writing down the figures. Whatever they needed to know from that. What did that generate? This video was important, clearly. I have no idea. That's it? You give us that piece of like science fiction, what, whatever the freak that machine is, and you expect us to be able to comprehend what that just did? I ain't gonna lie, man. All I saw was basically the same thing where, you know, if you put tinfoil in a microwave, I could have done that science experiment for free and they would have thanked me for that, you know? They'd have thought I was a genius. So I wonder what that video footage there was demonstrating to us and where this might sit in the timeline of the different things we have seen. Taking a quick look, this is back in 1982. This is way, way back in time. Let me just see the dates on the other ones we've seen before. Backroom's the third test. This was in 1988, so this was six years before. This means that that video we saw was probably some of the earliest developments of whatever, I guess, async were experimenting with. Maybe this was when they first learned of maybe some kind of generated energy thing they can do to create a portal of some kind. The OG Backroom's video comes September 23rd, 96. That's 14 years after that, so they've had a decade and a half to, I guess, perfect the art of whatever they were trying to do, or just somewhat improve upon it, which by that point, maybe they were able to create the Backroom's. Mm. My palette has been moistened, man. I'm ready for this 14 minute one. This one is called The Backroom's Pitfalls. The 5th of the 6th, 1990. All right, so this is a little bit before the first ever episode we've seen, but it is going down that timeline of them having created the backrooms and maybe getting a bit used to it or dipping their toes in things they can do here. Async Research Institute. Just, why don't you go ahead and kill one of your people for me? I know they're gonna do it. This one's documented by Marvin E. Lay, different person. Like, Guys, I'm at a point where I don't know if we're in the back rooms or not. I assume not. There's the suits. Oh, that okay, that was tripping me out right there. What are we hearing? Hold on, hold on. No subtitles. Okay. Are they talking about how the suits work? Maybe the connections? Yeah, I. We. Hmm. Nobody's coming. Oh, see that? Okay. Actual lab coats. Hey, so they were the scientists. Look at them. This is really cool. Wow. Actual actors in this thing? Whoa. 
one, two, three, mark, mic check. Awesome. We hear you, we hear you. You're all good. This is Marv, one, two, three, Marv, mic check, one, two, three. You sound like Microsoft Sam nearly. Restricted access. Uh, this is George Mike. Magnetic field. George Michael? Was that? I don't know. Oh, we know what that light is, right, guys? Is it? Oh, they already opened it. Oh, that's ominous, though. You hear, like, the, the wisdom wells coming through? It makes it feel sci-fi, like UFO-like. Really love it. Hey, you, you silhouetted buddy. Of course we don't see his face. He stands there, man, you see? Buddy literally hit this pose. Of all the poses to strike, he literally thinks, like, hmm, I'm gonna go evil villain for this one. I'm gonna look very, very menacing. Potential look at the guy behind most of it. Or a great deal of it, at least. So this is within the back rooms. Oh, they still... They... Oh, okay, now I'm starting to understand. So they created this room within the back rooms immediately. Like a safe haven. Okay, we got that big steel door. This is where our man got to, right? He, he got back to the very beginning. Okay, that's interesting. And this might be one of those safe zones, you know, guys, where, uh, you know, they can't quite get to you. I don't know, though. I'm, I'm just fabricating ideas. Has the vertical know. expansion been approved yet? Expansion. They're not getting to that until after the presentation. Okay. When does that go through? Is... Sorry, can you repeat? What day will the tour be over? Okay, let's, let's see. Uh, from the 7th to the 10th. 7th to the 10th? This happened on the 6th of May, right? Uh, yeah, should be good. Someone's uh, working. Day tomorrow, I think. What are you making, huh? They're going in. Where's he going with the free kick? <laughs> that drill's got some anger problems. Okay. What's that for? They're working, guys. They are working. So they don't care about the noise. Look at the uh, the shape to this one. It's kind of uh, this kind of has that bend shape. You see that? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, I was thinking like new backrooms element laid down differently. Now yeah, you get the backrooms. So is he maybe training with the red um, the red tape so he doesn't lose his way back perhaps? Because this seems fairly unmarked territory, which is a bit concerning, you know, guys. You don't want to get lost back here. Not want to get lost back here. Oh, no, no, no. I would... No, i go back at this point, guys. Exactly. I look around. I, I see everything looking the same. i go back and I'll call for my friends. Okay. Good night. Oh, he's on a mission, maybe. Where's he trying to get to? What's the, what's the idea behind this? Some pillars. So we got all elements of... Be on caution. Be on caution, he said. Elements to keep this thing structurally sound. But they're looking for something. Oh, yeah, there it is, the trail. So they're aware, maybe, of something abnormal being here. I wonder if this came after the, the thing where we saw the creature poking around the corner or not. Yeah, how, like, this is, this is the thing, man. Like, I'm getting some, like, tension from this. Because imagine you are one of these four people walking into somewhere where you have no idea about, you know, that there's some kind of danger. People would not be talking at this point. They would be, like, in their own thoughts, kind of scared. You know, have you ever been in times like that, you know? That, to me, adds, a, a, like, a, a level of tension that I can relate to on a personal level. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I really feel that. Orifices, like? Oh, wow. Yeah, how about this that? Jumping jacks, like, jack in the box. <laughs> It's fascinating. Storage under the floor. Is that a carpeted? Ah. Uh, someone, someone employ this Sorry. carpenter. Like he, he straight. Look at the job he did with those. Can you look down there though? Is it like pitch black? Oh, oh, oh no! His ability falls off pretty quick. Dang. Not get an angle. Where's the bomb? And we've got a door. Someone wants to go through that thing. Don't recognize the design. Someone's gonna be curious. Did he say, hold on, did he say I don't think that's the design? Don't recognize the design. Don't remember that being a design, maybe? Huh. There's so why is that? Is that trying to plan for this? So they're saying it could be a dead end, maybe. What about right, this? No. Go notify Cloud. He's curious. He's curious, so notify Cloud. Look at him, you see him walking like Spaceman on that thing? Dude, if I couldn't see my like surroundings, Oh my god, he if if we reverse that, he will be moonwalking. Let me try it. Take your time. Whoa. So he made it all the way. He did it? No problem, no problem. That's green. Green rooms? Oh my god. Green rooms. Everything okay? He's fascinating. He's in awe. He's get the camera over here. Across? Oh, you need to get there. Alright, just hurry. Immediately. Oh. What does he see? What does he see? What does he see? Okay. Come on, bud, you got this. Walk in a straight line. 
Walk in those right angle triangle, 90 degree corners only. Never. Mm. Oh, he's giving us the full commentary. Like, seriously. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Let him take his time. Don't rush him. Not like this. You, you want to, you know. Walking on normal ground. That's it. That's it. You are. You are. It's a straight line. Walk on the thicker portions. You see, I kind of... You don't think I'm going to pause and backtrack to see what that said? Frame by frame. We take it frame by frame. Okay, I'm about to open Photoshop. Let me just try and reverse this so we can read it. Let's start by flipping it. Uh, yeah, that doesn't help, does it? And then, like, collapse it down. There we go. We can read that much better. While data could be inferred from these readings, nobody knew what would actually be found on the other side. All right, now you've made that nice and ominous. Congratulations, I am interested. There's some more here. Let's just test this just to be safe. Okay, so just to double check, it is the same quote repeated. So nothing else new here. This brings us straight back, though. What did they find? What are they talking about with that data on the other side? Oh, 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 my God. What did they found? Oh! oh. <laughs> He's good! Bro, that hole was so yeah. dark you couldn't see the bomb. Yeah, I'm alright. Wow, he's alright! Are you injured? I think I pulled something in that's, my shoulder. That's it? I'm a, Imagine. I'm a bit dizzy, but no, no, I'm fine. Incredible! Wow, Where how is he good? Can you describe your surroundings? Uh, he's a, he's it's a guinea pig immediately, guys. Like, like a room up there, but this is the multiple levels, isn't it? Same, but the wallpaper is different. Ooh, it's like a bit greener. Pale. Green. Okay, okay. Ooh, what's that? That's like a Hold break. Hold on, I need to see if there's a break in the floor. Look at that, like nope. some kind of clipping. Yeah. What are we see? I'm not reaching the tunnel I fell from. Hmm. The opening comes out through the wall, but it's too high. Okay, no chance then. No chance. What do we do, guys? Do we just go through? Okay, just stand by. Who stand zooms down? down? Got it. Interesting. Man! Is the camera in tech? Yep. Seems to be fine. I'm recording, but who knows what the output will be like. We're seeing it, we're seeing it. Is this the level with the entities as well? You, you know what I'm trying to say? Carefully. We have another camera. I will be this. walking. I would not be walking at all. This takes precedence. Ooh, this is really, really tense. Because you don't know what's down there with him. Just throw down the guideline with the weight attack. Yeah, yeah, the red thing. Climb up. The red thing. Just tried that. There won't be enough length to reach you. Ah! George, go right back to standard and bring it together. Man, I'll try and like, you know when people do that like arm and leg thing, kind of Hang push themselves up? I would do that. I would at least climb in there in, in, in the moment. What was that? What was what? I don't, I don't know. What the frick? That was like a reverberated scream of some kind. Was it imitating? Up here. Sounded of like... It's got a, a form of mouth to make those... I think there's somebody down here. What? What? Uh, as you're yelling, like a person is yelling. That's impossible, though. A person? What yeah. is it, dude? What did they make? Look at that. That makes no sense. Are you sure you're not just hearing us? Is that the Crimson Forest? No, it's definitely not. Convenient. You see how the room is starting to do that Super Mario Galaxy warp? Oh my gosh, it's red. I don't want to say what it is until we see it. But I, I have my suspicions right now. I kind of want to be right. I kind of want to be right. That looks, that looks like a road. That's like a highway. Oh my gosh. Is that the Crimson Forest or an element of it? Whoa, it's... What the freak? Okay, my eyes are tearing up, man. I get too into this junk. Hold up. Can you see? This is what happens when I watch videos like this. I wonder if that picked up on the mic. So I don't know if I have a ghost with a Bluetooth phone or if someone has played a prank, but legit, someone keeps connecting to my living room soundbar and playing music through it. And I am so confused why this keeps happening. Kind of tempted to never disable that. I like the stuff they're playing. The Let's get back hallways, in this. And it's right there, under the gap in the wall. Look at that, a complete separation between. Stay at the hall. Me back any minute, then you, you hear the wind whistling? Ah, oh, no, he's curious. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, dude, I gotta know about the Crimson Forest. Null zones. Null zones. that's the case, I agree with Mark. It's not worth the risk. Look at that. That's the Crimson Forest right there, guys. Whatever this thing's called. Can you feel the air on your fingers? You know what I'm saying? Can you breathe? This is bizarre. Hello? He's... He's... Can you hear me? He's calling back. What are you doing? What? Yo. I know how to get back. It's fine. It's like these houses look like they want to be lived in, man. It's so. This is crazy cool, though. I really like this, man. So he's looking back. This the tunnel. 
What about that person talking, though? Could it be something mimicking? Like, this place might be an extremely hostile area. I want to be in. It is a neighborhood. Is this a, an opposite end to it? Like, a small section of the neighborhood? Well, that's got lights on, man. That's... <laughs> Oh, someone's screaming for how? Look at the lights beaming through. Do you check it or nah? Woo! He's got. Yeah, he's curious. I'm not being funny, man. Imagine. I would be too. Like, we hear life down here. I would be terrified, but also want to know what's going on. Can you hear me? That's got that. got no welcome. I'm oh. Suspect, we're dead. Anything? Oh, yeah. I'm going to one of the hearts. Oh. What? What the freak? This is crazy. This is insane. Okay. It's like a. This is odd. This is completely different. Uh, there are what is that? turn signs in this room. Lots of them, like a storage room. What the yeah, freak? Growing up? What do you mean by that? Mirror. Yeah, they're the wrong way. Oriented properly. Inverted? <laughs> that is closer though. <laughs> you see how claustrophobic this fire is? Man, this is intense. And it dips down a level two. Oh my. Yo, I'll be out. I'll be running 180 degrees. I would say, listen, come back with me. Oh. Whoa. This is starting to break up. This should uh, not I think exist. I'm you. Just stand, stand by. But I would go back, man. What about if he's about to be clotheslined in? We're returning to yellow. Wait, was that some kind of... That was like radio interference in there. What the freak? Has someone been living down here? Maybe try and go in there. Is someone, has that been lived in? Take a look, take a look, take a look. Here we go. That's a backpack. Someone's late, maybe like. This could be lived. This is Marv. Okay. Good, we read you. This is insane, guys. I'm not like overwhelmed. Check the backpack. If someone is living here, what? this changes everything, I think man. Someone's been living down here. Living down there? What? Not possible. They're, they're close. That's the exact same line, is it not? Hey! Dude, this can you is hear a, me? This is a freaking bait. This is a freaking bait. He's dead. He's being a Sorry, can you repeat that? Is that Pardon? the... That's the thing! That's not a person. Oh, my, yo, it's coming! That is what? not a fucking person! Oh, <laughs> what? Can it fit through? We got back up, we got back up. So he's carrying the camera. Oh! That's like death and screams like. George, come in. George, it's an idiot. Is he gonna look behind? Never go to the Crimson Forest. Ever. Holy crap. Yeah. I did not see anything. I did not, I did not. Oh, it's like guttural. Dude, it's, it feels like it's gaining on it. Oh! Slip under, slip under, slip under! Slip under! So he's under. Did it follow or not? It's like screaming, no! What do you do now, bro? What's he gonna okay, do? Okay, send it down! It's actually coming! I mean, they got the camera footage right, but was it from his corpse or not? Stand clear, we're sending it down. Through. Grab it, grab it, man, grab it, pull. They have to pull, they have to pull, they have to pull, they have to legit pull immediately. Go. Just climb it, man. Just freaking climb it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's where you can't see the bomb. So the drops aren't like hundreds of feet. It just kind of darkens around that corner. Does he get- I'm- They don't saw if he gets up! 
Dude, they literally might have just taken that from his corpse. You know what I'm trying to say? So what is that that they throw down? It's like a br one of the briefcases with the... Like the... the a black wiring? But why? Is that what all of them have in there? And then they use that to like... Like... He sounds weak at this point. <laughs> and he's like... the Oh, the mold, of course. The mold must be getting to him by this point. Maybe it's more contagious down here on the levels. That layer is extremely dangerous, the way that place works. It's very hostile. It kind of lulls you into thinking that there are survivors or someone in desperate need down there to get you cornered exactly where it wants you to be so it can take full advantage of you and probably kill you. Do we see anything here? I don't think we do. I don't think we see anything. Look, there's nothing behind him at all. Why am I muting and unmuting? We can see in the frames that we get to shift between. The creature isn't there. So it's obviously not moving that fast, but that's the first ever time we've seen the way they move. Hey. What is it doing down here though? Can you hear me? The way it just kind of stands in the corner. It's literally the SCP, it's like the mimicking us. Sorry, can you repeat that? If we zoom in, look at it, look at it. It's just like standing there in the corner, like kind of tucking away. Guys, it looks disgusting. And the way it starts running, look. Like, his movement is so disturbing. I want to listen to what it's trying to say. So it's calling. Keeps calling, keeps saying. But what happens? Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's, I don't know. If, Sorry, can you repeat that? Like, what's that trying? It's mimicking like a whole conversation. It's not just trying to mimic one person. It's almost like a parrot. They don't know which part of that sentence is kind of uh, relying to the human. So instead of just repeating one person who's in need, it's just repeating the whole conversation that it heard from the side or however that thing got programmed within it. Like, how does it know to say that? So I'm going to try and form almost a timeline for this. One of the most important things is uh, when they discovered these null zones, because in this video, they are referencing them. So when was that initial video published? This one was compiled from June 1991 onwards. That means there was put footage in the past, but they maybe knew about these null zones, but maybe by this point, they'd entirely researched them or we're discovering even more. Yeah, that makes me want to know more. Just even more about the base layer. Just, it's, it's awesome to think that we are only basically still on the cusp of the backrooms as a whole. We're only seeing really the footage where they first experimented, their first encounters with these different layers, you know? It's, it's amazing. Okay, guys, so to learn about the Crimson Forest, this comes from Mooncake's post on the backrooms. They said, is it a part of level nine or its own separate level? I wasn't even aware it was a part of level nine in the first place. This comes from Substantial Aid 838. Hopefully this is all correct. The Crimson Forest is an enigmatic level that is completely apart from level nine and can be accessed from level 9.1. So like a half or, or a point one way through, Survival difficulty is habitable, it's safe, but we've already seen like that, you know? So is this Kane Pixel's true take on it or is the forest really hiding a dark secret? I'll skim through most of this, but you guys are welcome to read it in your own time. The Crimson Forest is a beguiling thicket blanketed in a chilly fog. I don't know if that sentence made sense. These words are big. It is serene and idyllic under the ever watchful eye of the lanterns which ward off harmful entities. Much of the soil and flora is tinted shades of crimson and red, giving the level its monica. Forest is expansive, its borders unexplored, and its geography largely unmade mapped. The areas known contain wide valleys, dense woods, large rolling mountains, and snaking streams cutting through it all, ending in boggy wetlands. The tectonic plates in the forest do not lay flat, but instead crumple and fold into one another like crinkled paper, and in some regions, looking into the sky reveals more of the forest above you, accessible if you simply keep walking forward long enough to find where the fold is. In these places, the concept of down is subjective, so I don't know if this is actually the way that the Crimson Forest works. I guess that's the, that's the thing. I'm not sure what the inspiration truly is. I'm just simply reading what's out there because the original wiki on the Crimson Forest has been deleted. There is no Wi-Fi in the Crimson Forest in order to send information in or out. Settlers are required to pass through level 9.1 and return to the zone of internet connectivity. In order to maintain a link to the MEG, settlers attempt monthly cycles to upload, download data news. So I don't know, again, how much of this is going into what we saw, but there was a connection lost as we went deeper into this, meaning maybe the Wi-Fi started to get disrupted. I don't entirely know also what happens during this section here. The, the idea and mention of like what goes down becomes up on a subjective. We're seeing an inversion. So I don't know if again that inversion thing becomes subjective too. So that's just something again I'm really not sure about and it's just, I'm just interpreting and I might be completely wrong. The left hallway and it's right there under the gap in the wall. We need to stay at the hall. George will wreck any minute then we can assess the situation from there. Okay. I'm really listening for this one. Really listening. But what if Miller's right about the null zones? Even if that's the case, I agree with Mark. It's not worth the risk. It's not like the rest? What does that mean? What does that mean? 
What does that mean? I'm so confused, man. What makes it truly difficult to understand everything that's being spoken about is in this series that Kane Pixels has going, when we hear them talking about the, the null zones, they're kind of like backing and forth and without going into too much description. No one is asking what is a null zone. To them, they know what's going on and they just want to talk about it, talking about a guy called, I think it was George. You know, they want to pass this with. Maybe he was right. What does that mean? So perhaps in time, there might be another video released showing some more camera footage where they might be discussing the null zones or maybe their discovery and we just haven't quite seen that uploaded yet. Character motion captured by Rocco. That's it. That's awesome, man. So like they're using full on suits. Like you can see how much they are spending to make this series go through, guys. They are putting the money into this and truly doing everything to bring it to life. Right now, guys, we may learn all the answers to the questions we have. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts down below because my brain is kind of firing at the moment. I feel like I need a day or two just to sit back, process this thing. Maybe whilst I'm re-editing this, I'll be able to slightly understand it a little bit more because my first reaction to this, I was like overwhelmed by the amount of new concepts within this and I I'm just so interested to see how this thing goes down, man. I love the route this is being taken. There we have it though, guys. If you want to watch these videos for yourself, you can check the link down below, link into Kane Pixel's channel and also both of the individual videos. For now though, this was my reaction to two of Kane Pixel's newest uploads and we will definitely be back once Kane Pixel's releases the next. If you guys did enjoy this video, however, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.